Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a yarn butterfly. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to go over the materials that you need um, to make the yarn butterfly. So the first things you're going to need is obviously you're going to need some yarn. Um, it's really important that you have two different colors of yarn rather than the same color. Um, it, do it doesn't matter the colors, just make sure that there's two different colors. I just use white and blue because I found them good to my basement and I like to the colors of them. The second thing you're going to need is some scissors, make sure you're being safe with them. Um, you're going to need a fork and as far as the fork goes, it's really important that you have like four different prongs um, or I guess they're called tines, um, but I'm not sure if you guys can see, but my fork right here has four different um, prongs or tines. And it's really important that you have four different prongs and then three spaces. Um, otherwise, you're not going to be able to complete this. Um, you're going to need a ruler. The ruler is not required, but I'm going to use it because I think it will help. And then the last thing, which is completely optional, is a safety pin. Um, it's just so that you can like, attach the yarn butterfly to your backpack or something like that. But if you have a better way to do it, then go ahead. It's completely optional. I'm just going to use it. So you're going to need two colors of yarn, like I said, and the first color that I'm going to be using is white. Um, so I'm going to, you're going to need around six to eight inches of white. I'm just chopping that part off because the end of it looks really free and that's not good. So I'm just going to chop around six to eight inches um, of yarn. I think I'm going to use eight because you can always cut some off, but you can never um, add it on. So I'm just going to take a little pinch and I'm just taping my end of my yarn to the table, um, by my ruler so that it just kind of helps me, um, keep my yarn there. Well, here's my eight inches of yarn and I'm just going to put that on the side and then now I'm going to measure out my blue yarn. Um, so for my blue yarn, which is going to be the main source of my butterfly, so the wings, um, I'm going to measure out around 24 inches. So take my scissors and snip it right about there. And I don't need my extra balls or I guess cylinders, I don't know. I don't need these anymore. I just need the pieces of yarn that I cut for these pieces. And now I'm going to take my fork and remember it's really important that it's a four pronged fork instead of like a three pronged fork or any of the other kinds of forks out there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white uh, yarn and put it in the middle prong, so or middle space hole thing, so right there, um, and I'm just going to kind of drape it through. Um, so I don't know if you guys can see, but it's right through the middle, um, I guess, whole thing. And, um, yeah, so that's through. And now I'm gonna weave my blue into it. And then after each time you do it, you're gonna want to push it down and make sure that your white is still at the bottom. So below your blue, that's important. And then you're gonna just do it like I said, maybe about five to eight times. So I've done it about, let's count, I've done it three times. Um, and so I'm probably gonna do it maybe three more so that I have done it around six times, which should be enough um, for it to look Still like a butterfly. I know I've said this before in some of my other videos, but people make mistakes and it's okay if it doesn't turn out the way you pictured it or the way you want it to be the first time. Because if you've got extra yarn, then you can always just do it again. Okay, so I'm done. I've done it about five times, but I'm going to do it again just so I can show you guys a little um, 
I guess, tip or tricks that I learned while I was doing it. So, what you guys could do is, so while you're holding it down um, and pushing it down and stuff, when you're weaving it through the other side, you could keep your um, finger there. So, I'm keeping my um, index finger right here. I'm taking the yarn and then kind of wrapping it around my index finger and then using my middle finger to hold the yarn in place on my index finger and I'm weaving it that way. And it just kind of holds it in place and makes it a little bit easier while I'm like weaving and stuff like that. So, and then you just pull it tight and let your finger go at the very end. Um, so now that you've pulled it tight and done it around five times, maybe six or seven, um, it just kind of depends on what you want it to do. You're gonna, um, I'm gonna take my tape off because I'm not sure if you guys heard or saw or whatever, um, but I added a little piece of tape and to hold my wipe down so that it didn't come off. So I'm gonna take my tape off, which I just did. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the white and you wanna make sure, you wanna be very careful that neither of these extra blue pa pieces, <laughs> so that neither of these extra blue pieces come off. So I'm just gonna set them very carefully down the side and I'm gonna take my white and take it through the middle prong or uh, I'm bad at speaking today. <laughs> The middle hole where it was before and you're gonna just tie a knot and make sure that you're doing it through the middle hole that's important and you're gonna tie the knot i'm going to tie a knot uh, twice um carefully slip off your uh your yarn And you can see that it's already kind of forming. I'm gonna snip off my extra uh, pieces. You don't actually want to snip all your extra white off, but you want to snip most of it off because the white's gonna be like the little antennas. And I mean, your butterfly. You can have long antennas, short antennas. It's up to you because it's your butterfly. And so, as you can see, my little butterfly has formed and it's a little blue butterfly. Hmm. Let me know in the comments down below what I should name him or her. I think it's gonna be a girl. Let me know in the comments down below what I should name her. Um, and then last comes the safety pin part. Um, this is optional, so it's just something I'm gonna do so that I can like maybe hang it on my backpack so that I can bring it to school when things get back to normal. Um, but I'm gonna just use my safety pin and you're just gonna hook it through one of the loops. So as you can see, my little butterfly has a ton of little loops on um, her wings. And so I'm just gonna unlike pin my safety pin and make sure you're being very careful with this, I don't want you to poke yourself. Um, and you're gonna just take your pin and you're gonna kind of just uh, slowly poke it through one of the loops. And then you can just close it. And then there you go, you've got your little butterfly swap thing. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys, I hope your butterflies turn out amazing and if you haven't already, so make sure to subscribe if you want to and make sure to like this video and again, let me know in the comments down below what you think her name should be. Alright, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.